Hi, this is Dr. David Klein with Stages of Life Medical Institute. What we're going to talk about now is the second round of COVID and why do we want to see COVID.2? And the, re and the reason is this, is that it never really goes away. So COVID is going to start to head south, and I mean like south of the equator down into the southern hemisphere, just about the time that the migratory birds go the other way and head north. When they head south, COVID goes the other way. And this is the way these respiratory illnesses work, and they have worked forever. They have a tendency to occur most notably, wouldn't you know, in fall and spring. Now, you would think it's two seasons because it falls into two years, but it's really only one season. All right? So the fall through the winter, it goes away because it heads south, kind of like folks from New York coming to Florida, all right? And then it goes the other way as the weather starts to cool off. So back in January, when this thing first started, they were talking about, oh, how long is this going to last? And I went on the air and I said, hey, look, this is, this is going to not stop. It's going to continue until springtime, head south, and then we're going to see it again in the fall. It's not a second season. It's the same organism. It is the same virus. So get ready, learn your lessons, and start preparing now. Now, wouldn't you know it, if you listen to the CDC's briefings, and I do actually sit through these things weekly, okay, they last an hour, it's very boring, I don't suggest that you give it a try, but you'll get a taste of it on television. These folks get up there and make your eyes glaze over with technicality, technique, and sometimes nonsense. They're, so, they're, they're contradictory, it's a marvelous thing. You get five doctors together, you get 10 opinions. That is the way that it works. So the CDC is getting you ready for the fall. They're also getting you ready to understand that when they let us go, they let us out of school, when they let us out of uh, confinement, timeout, whatever you want to call it, we're going to see a little bump. Why? Because people with it are going to come in contact with you and you have a chance, some expectation of becoming infected even as the weather is warming up and things become less infectious. So don't let your guard down. So pretend that this is a hurricane coming. In Florida, we're very used to this. Mm, gee, it's the 1st of June, time to buy batteries. Hmm, it's the 1st of June, get some big zipper bags and start putting dry clothes in it because you never know when you're going to need a dry pair of underwear out of the garage. It just happens that way. But this is not exactly a hurricane coming. This is going to be another timeout coming. And should it happen to you in your community? Or should you end up being caught having a two-week quarantine? You'd had best be ready because nobody's going to tell you, the doctor's office, you're under quarantine for two weeks, but first go to Home Depot, get your stuff, then go to Costco, stock up. And when you're, if you're on your way, go get your oil changed in your car. So you have to keep everything ready to go. In the Navy, we used to have these sea bags. They were already packed. If you were told, hey, tomorrow morning, you're leaving. You didn't have a lot of time to be you know, filling out your will. You'd better have that done in advance. So these are the sorts of things you need to look at. So what do I, well, you know, what do I have on my mind? I'm not going to tell you how many cans of soup to buy. If you haven't figured that out by now, you're never going to figure it out. But what you're not going to consider is education. Okay, you may not have learned that you need to be prepared to be educated when these things happen. Why? Because time goes by much faster if you start getting credits in towards your MBA instead of watching daytime drama. So there are opportunities that you're going to want to know about even if you don't necessarily push the button now. How can I make myself better? Study for your general contractor's license. It's a good one. Okay. You know, there are all kinds of things that we intend to do. Life is full of these intentions. And very few people actually follow through. So should this happen again, be prepared to take better advantage of it, wouldn't you know? The second thing is what do you do about make, making sure that you're not caught up as roadkill financially, all right? You know, there are people on the radio, I'm on the radio, there are people on the radio that will tell you how much money to keep handy and how much to put here and where to, what pile to put it in, what mattress to put it under, whatever it happens to be. There's some truth to this, that you have to have at least three to six months worth of cash handy because you wouldn't you know it, you might lose your job, you might lose your home, you might have to find your way into a hotel for six or 12 weeks. It happens. So make sure that you listen. It's a whole lot more important to have cash in case of an emergency than to take a vacation to the Redneck Riviera, which is my favorite place to go, in the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, you have to have these sorts of rainy day funds going. And then supplies, supplies being somewhere down the line. 
where the ball is going to hit you on the head is actually going to determine what type of supplies you're going to need. So when we started to see here at Stages of Life that there was going to be a problem coming out of China in January, I went ahead and bought a six-month supply of my laboratory reagents because they all come out of China. I bought a six-month supply of pens, pads. Why? Because they all come out of China. I went right on down the list. And when you know it, everything, even the pharmaceuticals, come out of China. So my business guy, I told him I said I'm buying six months out. He told me I was crazy. I figured, fine, I'll take another pill for, for that. And wouldn't you know it, it worked out just fine. I also bought something very odd. I bought, I think it was 150 rolls of toilet paper because I was concerned about the wrap that it was in, which is also made in China. So we made out okay with that. The office did beautifully. We survived with the exception of one thing. Those were masks. Did not consider that. So our after action report looked at, wouldn't you know it, masks. So we're going to keep several thousand of those things in our storeroom. They'll last for 10 years. I'm not going to worry too much about that. And if they, did, if they don't last that long, I'll replace them. But you have to do the same thing. So you want to have cash. Okay, don't spend it. Okay, this is something that's very, very important. Now, where can you put it? Okay, that's going to be a discussion for another lecture. There are ideas I'm going to pitch you, and I want you to just keep an open mind because I think it's going to make some sense after you say no. This is Dr. David Klein, Stages of Life Medical Institute, hoping that you learned something from this time out.